Voice in the Cloud, the Hybrid Approach and the Online Future. Unified Communications, Sci-Fi and 1989. In 1989, the 486 series of microprocessors is released by Intel, opening the way for the next generation of much more powerful PCs, and Microsoft released its Office Suite. Robert Zemeckis already inserted this in his film, a series of elements typical of what we now refer to as unified communications. The communication comes directly into our homes. It eliminates the boundary between private life and working life. Thank you for using AT&T. McFly! Fujitsu-san, konnichiwa! McFly! I was monitoring that scan you just interfaced. You are terminated! Information from different sources, disparate social networks, and business applications are merged and made available in an intuitive manner. The use of telephone numbers become obsolete, giving way to images in our address book and replaced by various kinds of speed dialing. The information that we insert in different contexts are reused in many ways, many times, facilitating communication but making the management of security and privacy critical. Unified Communications Presence Presence information is important to select the kind of communication we will use. If a colleague is online and available, an instant message or a direct call may be the preferred method. For a person away from his desk or not available now, we prefer an email message. The system is called Rich Presence and includes a great flexibility both from the point of view of the state of presence that we are able to select from and from the point of view of selecting who we authorize to read such information. Audio and Video Conferencing Audio and video conferencing entered our habits several years ago. What has changed is the quality of these services and their ability to make the experience of communication with other people as realistic as possible. Instant messaging. Although it is a very basic communication, its speed combined with the ability to send attachments, instant messaging is a mandatory feature in any unified communications product. Even its low impact on the person's privacy helps to make them an important possibility. Application and data sharing. Those features are extremely useful to improve the quality of conversation, especially if there are more people involved. Voice and telephony. In a modern unified communication system, telephony has a number of features that go far beyond simply making or receiving calls. I'll discuss this later, speaking of enterprise voice. Game changers for unified communications. Mobile is growing. The exponential growth of mobile devices, tablets, and smartphones, and their improved technology has radically and quickly changed all aspects of corporate IT. All enterprise applications and infrastructure are shifting towards consumerization and BYOD to make it easier for users with mobile devices to access company resources and information. Unified communications have been affected too by this change, and the quality of the mobile client is now comparable to that of a standard client. VoIP is replacing PSTN. This change has especially influenced the world of telephony. Until a few years ago, a PBX and a series of lines connected to the public telephone lines, PSTN, were a mandatory requirement to deliver voice features in companies. The introduction of protocols like Session Initiation Protocol, SIP, has changed the scenario. SIP is a signaling communications protocol used for controlling multimedia communication sessions, voice and video. These protocols allow the transport of multimedia data to flow through the data networks, including the internet. Bringing the voice service from the carrier to the consumer has become a simple matter of connectivity between the public IPs, drastically reducing the number of required infrastructure and hardware. The cloud is advancing. The cloud services which provided enormous resources at limited cost and on pay-per-use base have grown enormously. Today, a company can start business without having any pre-existing technological infrastructure and increase or decrease its resources following the market trends by spending only for the amount of resources they actually used. We have listed the factors that have driven businesses to improve the clients for smartphones and mobile devices in general. The features available in the various mobility scenarios are now so similar that it is almost no sense to talk about mobile users or external users as if they were a separate category. Smartphones and smart devices, like tablets, are for the first time capable endpoints. The expectations of users that have devices increasingly powerful and flexible have also increased. Solutions that are not complete and simple to use will not be accepted. Cloud computing. Network-based services served up by virtual hardware, simulated by software running on one or more real machines. 
Such virtual servers do not physically exist and can therefore be moved around, scaled up or down, and fly without affecting the end user, arguably rather like a cloud. Infrastructure as a Service, IAAS. Virtual machines based on a hypervisor as a service. IAAS clouds often offer additional resources, such as virtual machine disk image library, firewalls, load balancers, IP addresses, virtual local area networks, VLANS, and software bundles. IAAS cloud providers supply these resources on demand. Customers can use either internet or carrier clouds, dedicated virtual private networks. Platform as a Service, PAAS. In the PAAS model, cloud providers deliver a computing platform, typically including operating system, programming language execution environment, database, and web server. Application developers can develop and run their software solutions on a cloud platform without the cost and complexity of buying and managing the underlying hardware and software layers. Software as a Service, SAAS. Users are provided access to application software and databases. Cloud providers manage the infrastructure and platforms that run the applications. In the SAAS model, cloud providers install and operate application software in the cloud, and cloud users access the software from the cloud clients. Cloud users do not manage the cloud infrastructure and platform where the application runs access is based on a fee.